Let me help this guy. Hold on. Let me just. Oh wait, can I not get through? You're free, bro. You're get, free. You're out. Go run. Enjoy nature. Hey. Woo. Earn this. <laughs> wait, what is it from? Saving Private Ryan. <sighs> right. I I thought for the longest time that he was telling him that his real name was Ernest. <laughs> Ernest Ryan. I thought, <laughs> I thought I thought he was saying Ernest because earlier in the movie there's like a thing about what's Tom Hanks's name, like what's his name. Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. And they have like a like a pool, and I thought that before right. he died he was like leaving him the the key to winning the pool. Ernest. Yeah, I see. I thought he was gonna be like what. I also love that you. It could have been like the word Ernest, as in like being genuine. Yeah. You and you were like, nah, it can't be that. I think it's his name. That was me literally like sitting there in 1999 with like a salami and cheese and crackers with my friends at middle school quietly pretending like I understood the movie and trying to understand like why that was such a big part of the plot was that like Deadpool or whatever it was about the guy's name and why they cared mm. so much and why he was giving him the money. And then at the end of the movie, I was wondering like, did he use the money? Like, is he rich? Like, did he, So what about the money? Yeah, like, did, why did he give him the money at the end? Like, what was the point of that? Because it's like right after he turns back into... It's like right before he turns back into an old man. Earned this. Yeah. You know what, uh... What ending makes me tear jerk all the time? Is that weird? To use tear jerk as an active verb? I was like I don't straight like that. up tear jerking. Yeah, I don't like I was that. tear jerking. <laughs> hey, you know what ending makes me well up? tear jerking it. Is the ending <laughs> to uh, uh, A League of Their Own every time. Oh, man. Well, fucking... That woman who they got that looks... Looked amazingly like an older Gina Davis. I don't know yeah. how they did that. Maybe it was her. I don't know. It was definitely not Gina Davis. Oh. That didn't... It, it, it could not <gasps> have been someone in makeup, right? Is this the other side of that thing? Not only is it the other side of that thing, as you put it, I think we're going to oh. get some fucking boots. Kale. <laughs> They're all Kale to you? Like... Dude, I didn't I didn't do that. I didn't press that. There's only one Kale, but they're all made of kale. What you got? He only eats kale. Oh, is this not the guy? Soapstone? No, just soap. What are those two? Am I tripping? Crafting. Oh, and a, and a tear baby boy. What do you do with soap? I thought the boots were here. You what? God damn it. Did I, did I mess up my research? I thought you... I thought this was the guy that sold me the boots. Is it? Does he have the crafting spec for it? I don't think you craft clothes crafting repertoire yeah oh well so apparently oh, i fucked up is there another is there another guy in here i don't know if there is there might be there might be but i don't fucking know oh well <laughs> no big deal i'll double check the mixing is like too good on his little guitar he like starts playing and it's like 3d spatial sound in your ears of him playing like in a concert hall it is a nice little moment to find that guy. This area is cool as shit. This game in general is like one of the coolest video games to know nothing about ever. Uh, like you mean discovering new things? Yeah, just to like it. It, it truly makes good on feeling quite endless. Like there's so much. I I I to that end. Oh motherfucker! Where are we? Like behind enemy? I think we are. All right, hold on. I remember this part. Hmm. The DLC is coming, and I'm very excited to feel that sense of... Newness? Nude, nudity? Nude, yeah, I want to get naked. No, N-E-W-D. Nudity. But sp oh, I see what you're saying. Well, specifically, the feeling of, like, I don't know where I am, you know? I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be hype, man. Who's he? Oh, oh, what's up, dude? Dude, I'm you just got... Begumped, this guy. Ugh. Oh my god. Stupid. If I got hit that hard twice in a row, I think I would just like die of a heart attack. If zero percent is like like death, right? If, yeah. if 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 when you run out of life bar, that means you die. Cause you might so that's what forty percent. Yeah. What would that the equivalent of that be like? Like someone hits you so hard, now you've got like polio. It's like in a war movie, like that time when it, like gets all quiet and it's like. Like after a bomb. Oh, 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 sure, sure, yeah. sure. But that could just mean something loud happened. So, like, what would be the equivalent mm. of like I just lost forty percent of my life? You what does that mean? You punched all the all the blood out of my body. All the blood you, that's dead. You punch like you punch like two liters of blood out of my body. 
That's a fatality. So you're passed out immediately. Yeah, like just I like almost enough blood to kill me has left my body oh. by hitting me. That's like forty percent. I feel like motherfucker. Don't I'm you touch like me. Shot upper arm. Shot upper. Uh, so if you got like shot by a bullet in your upper arm, you think that'd be forty percent of your life? Forty percent is a lot. Maybe forty percent is a lot. It is a lot. I think if you took like a gut shot. With like a like a small caliber firearm, that might be forty percent. Ooh, like you're on your way. You know what I mean? Like mm. you, if you if they left you there, you'd die. But you could probably get exactly, into that giant exactly. Arrow. I'll take that. Man, we might be able to use some of this stuff later on. Somber smithing stone. I wonder if the arrows never despawned. How long it would take to just be an orb? An orb. Just an orb of arrow. <laughs> so long. Oh, I see what you're saying. And you wouldn't quite be an orb. You'd be like a weird, like, lumpy orb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not perfect. Medio. Medio. Give me that. Ooh, yeah! So we already went up Shonder, right? How many did you get? Oh, shit. I don't know. I love that. I love canceling their armored attack. The third one. Da, da, da. Yeah, devastating, right? Feels good. Feels good. It feels, I'm feeling pretty confident. Is over this here. your? Is this the stairs that you would check, or is this? Fuck! Oh, how did he know? Well, whatever. At least that other guy's just like too blind to even. I don't want to aggro them. You know what I mean? So, and I think we already killed them. We already went over there. This area starting. Everything's starting to look the same over here. How many shrines did we get? I think we're up to four or five. I found some web results. I can show them if you ask again from your iPhone. No, nah, we're, we're we're good. good. We're good. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks ma'am. <laughs> the Apple voice that I will not say the name of just fired up. <laughs> I really hope that got picked up, man. That was weird. <laughs> what would be the scariest question of the day? What would be the scariest thing for your like listing device? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, your if a she, voice assistant. Yeah, what would be the scariest thing for your voice assistant to spontaneously say out loud? Like, what implication would be the absolute fucking scariest? Uh, something along the lines of like, <sighs> like if you said something funny and it was like, <laughs> I'm saying if it were independent, like you didn't. It's not like you prompted her. It's like it's silent in your room. And then all of a sudden, she pipes up as if someone said something. So what would be, the, like, the scariest implication? If she was like, I'm sorry, I don't know anything about possession. You know like, what I mean? I can't find search results for turning off someone's Wi-Fi remotely. Like, some uh, stuff like that. I was thinking more like Supernatural. Oh. Personally. You don't You don't have to. You know what I mean? Well, if, 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 if it's, like, not motivated by anything real. Like, if it's possible that it was motivated by, like, the vibe is, like, a horror movie or something, rather yeah. than, like, what could really happen that would be bad. I think, like, yeah, like, something like, like, her just, like, starting to talk in, like, another language. Like, her, okay. her like, her, like, saying, like, some scary stuff in, like, um, like, in tongues. Latin, like maybe. Latin would yeah. be pretty scary. I just feel like a setting was off. If she started speaking it's Latin. It's true. Yeah. What yeah, Latin, no, like, right. we think the Pope needs... Like an AI, like like <laughs> I, like I, like Latin shouldn't even be on there. I think I would still jump to like malfunction. Yeah, malfunction. Yeah, as would I. But I'm saying like, what's the cr absolute yeah, creepiest yeah. thing? I'm telling you, for me, it'd be like something implying that like she hears someone talking in my room that I can't hear. You Three know what I mean? Entities. What's she, what she just like? Yes, they are coming. What the fuck? <laughs> also, I'm like, my huh? ass whooped. What? Or something, that's something that's like legit a message. Like, do you know about the intercom? I mean, I'm aware of what an intercom is. Well, like, that I can be like... I'm gonna just do this. I'm sorry if it's ugly audio, but I'm just gonna do it so you guys can see. Hello, I am the ghost who lives inside of your home. That wasn't that scary. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> What was supposed to happen? Well, let me try it one more time. Hello. My name is Hello. Elder Price. I am the ghost who lives inside of your home. Give it a sec. 
My name is Hello, I am the ghost who lives inside of your home. Yeah, okay. I, so, mean, I messed it up. No, no, no. You know it. You know it. You know it. I, I see what you're put, put, putting down. Yeah. I just want something that, like, someone in the comments is going to help me out with this. Like, some implication that, like, oh, there's something else in my room. I can't see it or hear it, but this machine is able to. You know what I mean? What we're doing, you know what we're doing is we're writing, like, a, like a one sentence horror story. It has to sure, be, it has sure. to imply yes. all the information yes. expertly. Yes. While being like one quick sentence that's right, easily write offable, but scary enough to stay with you. Yes. It's tougher than it sounds, you know? Yeah. Oh, they're thumping, bro. Oh. Ted, is this how you dance? <clears throat> Just <clears throat> putting it down. <clears throat> His doctor told him he needed to get his calf strong. See, I'm not. I'm kind of out of the stomping game. Yeah, you're you haven't out? stomped in a while. I can't. I can't do the jumping anymore. The knees. They won't let me. Are your knees fucked? Yeah. Mm. Whoa! Both of them? Yeah, I got mild arthritis. Maybe. Maybe you need to get some. Uh, what, are, what are those things called? Moon shoes. The ones that are like <laughs> spring. Oh yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like you used to when you were a kid, you could yeah, like yeah, yeah. Whoa. Then you could stomp all your all the live long. Why'd you sound like Papa? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Remember when you were I'm a kid and Gadley Bob Alley. Did you say Bay Bellity? Gadley Bob Alley. Bay Bellity. He's 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 quoting uh he's he's quoting uh Slinky Dog. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. What, 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 are, what are you actually saying? He's saying something like, Scottie Bob got it. Something like <laughs> so that, just, yeah. what, What's that actor's name? Kurt? Is he, Kurt? is he a Kurt? No, it's uh, Ver... Uh, oh, Jim Varney. I'm thinking yeah. of the second guy. Yeah, Jim Varney, yeah. Yeah, the guy that replaced him. The guy that's in the Adam Sandler movies. Oh, yeah. Where he's like, home is where you make it. Everybody know that. Goddamn, boy. Jim Varney, man. Another question of the day. If 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 we here in this room had friendships, we were like fighters. Friendship. And we had a friendship. Again. What would our friendship finishers be? I would smoke you out. So what would that look like? On like if this is a 2D fighting game stage, like how would you do that? Okay, so like you know how like smoke? Smoke. You know how in like Mortal Kombat trilogy, smoke like grabs you and goes like do 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 and you just go like Ah and then you just like get smoked out. You like Turn fully smoke, smoky. <laughs> he just like grabs you like Raiden. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's like the most. It's like exactly what it sounds like. No, no, you're pretty close. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and then it's like, <laughs> and it's like all the different like arms falling, and it makes smoke. all the exact same sound. Oh god! So it's just like that. <laughs> and except instead of grabbing you, I just hand you a bong. And then, and then what, you like hit it? Like the yeah. opponent hits it? Well, like they probably didn't animate it. So it's probably like <laughs> this, the, the same. It's like a, it's it's a single frame of their like uh, finish him uh, yeah. dizzy. Yeah. And but I, they freeze and, it. And their mouth is like on the bomb. Okay. And then they almost blow up. But then instead of blowing up, it plays the friendship music and they, they smile. Friendship. All right. What would or Ted's they, or they, be? No, actually, they don't smile. They just bow. They're like, thank you. Yeah. Like whatever they're like. Friendship one is where they where they bow. It's like me me and one of you, so I've got two. I'm sorry for the friendship finisher. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. We're talking about like if instead of performing a fatality on your opponent when they're like dizzy and ready to be killed, you instead do something nice for them. What would your nice thing be? Do something nice for them. Have you yeah. never, are you not aware of the concept of friendships in Mortal Kombat? No. It's like mm. a fatality, except instead of killing them, you like do them a little cute. For example, like Shang Tsung made a rainbow, and Scorpion whip out like a little Scorpion doll version of himself. They're usually very silly. Mm. Yeah. And he goes, friendship. The but they goes. still die. It's no, like you no. win. It's like you win, but they, they, they're just chill. You guys are friends now. Yeah, oh. no killing. There's also the babality where they turn you into babality. a baby. And Much then, more disturbing. For a game or two, there was also the brutality. Mm hmm. Which was like they just beat the shit out of you till you blow up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Into like 14 arms and two rib cages. <laughs> yeah, m multiple rib cages. Probably five skulls. Yeah. Ow! Ow! 
That is the sound of your bones multiplying yeah. on the moment of death. <laughs> oh! I just I just start watching Brett's stream. I just sit down. So the, the friendship ground. is you, <laughs> you and your opponent tune into some other guy's stream. <laughs> yeah. Or I'm doing if I'm doing it to you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You like sit him well, down and I show can't do Brett's... it to Alex. You can. No, yeah, it's like, what would your friendship be, regardless of your opponent? Oh, regardless the of the opponent. Like, yeah, they're not Sub -Zero's, personalized. Sub-Zero's there. Uh, He's... Uh, oh, oh. Oh, Melina's there. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's just explain the concept of the friendship. <laughs> friendship. And then, yeah, you know, there's Melina. Whoa, whoa. There's Melina. Ah! Oh! I always think of Shiva as the... Or not Shiva, uh... What's the the Goro chick? Shiva. Oh yeah, but she's. Oh, I'm thinking of Sindel. Oh! Oh! Ah! Ah! You know what that reminds me of? What? <laughs> we used to play like, you know, local Halo multiplayer back in the day, dude. And the Halo One death sounds were so funny to me. Ah! Most of the, yeah, most of them were very muted. Yeah. But we used to play like rockets most of the time on Hang 'em High, Hang 'em High Rockets. Right. So more often than not, we would get the wild ones where they'd be like, ah, <laughs> and like, ho. Oh, and then um, my, our favorite one was where he goes, yeah. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I fucking remember that sound. That's so fucking funny. Kalamajaro. God, original, original Xbox Live was such a vibe. When you just like play with people, strangers. So uh, I I mean, if you mean on the original Xbox, I never did that. The, my first online game was like Halo, th my Halo Three on the 360. Halo Two, yeah, like just right behind you, but like same thing. Like mm. I remember one time I was playing with my friend Fernando, Fernando, and we were doing like local, like where we were online. But I think it was like I think it was something like that. Maybe we had two Xboxes. I can't remember, but. We were in the same room as each other playing. Gotcha. And a guy rolled up to us in like the warthog with. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know the story. Yeah, go get ahead. Get in. He said, "Get in. We're going." Oh, on the mic, he said that. Yeah, get in. And we get in. To he was on your team. Yeah, okay. and we jump in, and I'm like on the turret, and Fernando's in the driver's seat, and he just drove right off a cliff. Yeah. Yeah. And we were just like, "Oh sh, mother, fuck!" You just got stunlocked by those rats, bro. It's my fault. I should have killed the rats first. He didn't know he was one of those crazy eyes rats. Motherfucker. And where you died the time before, that was where the uh, the grace was. Ugh. Uh, listen, y'all. If you enjoy me losing all my souls to some stupid ass rats with glowing eyes, if you want to see more, you can go to patreon.com slash superbeardbros. We got like more episodes up there. You can see stuff up to 30 days early. On uh, all our series, Only not to mention the fact that I think we, we've got some stuff in the works coming up that's like a special series that will hit YouTube. But I think they're going to be on Patreon, like even more than thirty days ahead, earlier, like pretty fucking early. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. Um, and when I say special series, I mean yeah, they're pretty special. We got some cool stuff coming down the pipeline for you guys, and uh, it's it's the only way that we're really getting paid now to do this. It's uh, the way the show gets made. So. If you have the means and you're willing, please check us out. We appreciate it, man. Yeah, come on down. Patreon.com slash superbeardbros. Ten meager souls per month. That's ten souls, man. That's ten it. meager little souls. All you gotta do is kill ten people per month. That's it! Go bunk up a bullwinkle on your you, free time. You could be the one that gets Alex a new pair of socks. That's you should true. be the one that finally pays for Ted's dog bowl. <laughs> what do I get? What do I get? A Baconator finally? Brett, if, if Brett ever beats anything in one and we notice, I'll give him a Baconator. We do need a Baconator budget. Baconator. Did you say Baconator? Nope, I'm over. I'm I, done. Uh, <laughs> Ted becoming drunk I need work, man. six ah. strips of bacon right now. Uh, Baconator. Baconator. Ah. <laughs> it's for breakfast. Hey. You know what's funny is they have a breakfast Baconator and it is not called the Baconator. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was a no-brainer, right? Baconator. Bacon egg. No, actually, it's a little bit. You don't. It's yeah. a little bit like why I didn't say who you are in Huckleberry Finn. Like it's right on the edge. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's right on the edge. As soon as I said it twice, I was like, "Oh, I see why they didn't." Yeah. Do that. <laughs> it took me two times. <laughs> yeah.
That's why you test stuff. You market test that shit, you know? I saw a tweet that was like, hmm. It was, we were talking about Wendy's was like about to do AI price surging uh -huh. on their food. Like at like peak hours. Uh huh. And uh, they, they backed down after like everybody was like, are you serious? But there was a tweet that was like, hmm. Where should I have? Where should I go for lunch? Huh? Maybe that pr place that jacks up its prices at lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's some like. That's great. <laughs> think about okay. So you say they backed it away, right? Like they're yeah. not going to do it anymore. Think about all the truly predatory, evil stuff that doesn't make it to the advertising stage. That gets shot down because people like the corporations want to do it, but they're like, "Oh no, we can never get away with that." Story of my life. And then think about yeah, think about all all the 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 the, the things that we the public are shielded from because mm. of like common sense. <laughs> and somehow this one slipped through. Yeah, this was an anomaly, right? They got all the way to the press release with this right. before they were like, "Oh wait, this is oh they don't like yeah. this." They do recognize that this is a stupid idea. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bacon Egger is one of the ones that didn't make it out of the room. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. You know what I mean? Honestly, yeah, you guys crushed it on not doing the Bacon Egger. <laughs> Can I get a Bacon Egger? <laughs> like, oh, it, what? <laughs> uh, it, it writes itself. It's all if you if you're from anywhere below <laughs> yeah, the Mason Dixon line, yeah, you just can't don't. Order do you, they don't sell that. Please down there. do not order the bacon egger. <laughs> I went up there to uh, Pittsburgh to visit my uncle, and you know they sell breakfast up there at Wendy's. It was something else. They don't even serve breakfast down here. <laughs> Fuck me in the ass. Why is I'm getting bodied by like this specific group of? Because you forgot about the butt slam. The, 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 oh. Guys, every time. You forgot about the butt slam, that's why. It takes two episodes. I forget about it for one full episode, yeah. and then I, 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 I'll never remember Yeah, it. and then I just remember immediately the moment that Brett's like, why am I dying so much? This used to be easier. And then I'm like, oh yeah, the butt slam. Thank you. That's exactly why you're here. That is why I'm here. Like, like that's, Did you say it's not? <laughs> it's you! Huh? That's not why I'm here. That's not why I'm here. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, that is... Why are you here? Why are you that here? That is why. I did say that is why I'm oh, here. Oh, okay. I thought you said... I stumbled over it a little that bit. That isn't why I'm... Wait a minute. That's not why I'm here. <laughs> oh, I'm hilarious. They love to hear my jokes. Oh, boy. They love me to repeat jokes that Amanda sent to me via text that she read on Twitter. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> about Wendy's. From a news story that happened two weeks ago that's long, long dead. I'm gonna need to get something to eat today. I don't know what it's gonna be. It might it's be a bacon egg. Bacon egg. <laughs> it might be. Can that be the episode title? No. Yes. No way. Uh, yes. Well, right? Actually, yes. 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 They don't like rate like rate you on like stuff that sounds bad. Yeah, like uh, on paper, like it's written, it looks fine. It's when you say it out loud. Yeah, it's like you know, what if the Terminator was actually a baconator, right? It's the bacon egg. <laughs> Ted, say it three times fast. Nope. Say it. No. That's a trap. You're giving That's me too, a trap. You're giving me too much power, Ted. It's ma it's making it worse. It's like me imagining it. Let's just get. Let's just shake it out. Let's just all say the word eighteen <laughs> times fast. The word. And then it won't have any power. It's anymore. the word love. You what know that, that song, "The Word" by the Beatles? No. Say the word and you'll be free. Say the word and be like me. <laughs> mm -mm. Have you heard? Oh, dude. The, uh, the, the, oh, oh, right, right, right. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Thank you. Still singing the word, sorry. That's okay. The song's a jam. Cause sometimes, sometimes. Oh, that almost sounded like Chip and Dale. Chippendale? Rescue Range. Oh, yeah. I was thinking of Chippendales. The strip club? Yeah. Mm. Patrick Swayze. Chris Farley. <laughs> the beloved uh, sketch. Chippendales is funny because, like, I don't even recognize those types of men. What do you mean? Like, Hooters, right? Like, it sucks. Uh, it's, you know, it objectifies women in a gross way a lot of the time. Like, 
It's, a, it's an incredible place to, like, get sexually harassed as a female waitress, right? <laughs> but, like... Honestly, like... The, the archetype of what a Hooters girl looks like resembles a type of girl that is on posters... <clears throat> is objectified in media in all places. Voluptuous. Right? Yeah, voluptuous, like tight shorts, tight t-shirt. That's yeah. like a thing, right? Okay. But like tuxedo, but without the clothes uh, uh, is like uh, a uh. weird vibe. Like, I don't know. The equivalent is like mm. uh, French maid. Okay. I, the equivalent for me is like when you see footage from like a bridal party but like they're sucking the dude's dick like <laughs> i've seen some yeah. footage of that <laughs> yeah, like like that <laughs> i'm like ladies yeah like whoa is this what you guys do because i'm letting you know something you know i've seen some footage of and i've been to some like bachelor party ish type stuff right yeah Where, like i've been to like some wild like I've, i have some fr some wild friends right i have never heard of been a part of nor seen a bachelor party where it's like oh the, sh the stripper girl is here I'm definitely where the stripper girl is here, right? But never like the stripper girl is here. Let's all eat her vagina out. Yeah, never, my never life. in my life. Never, never. In my life. I've never seen anything close to that. Yeah, but that I've, is I've wild. Seen, to I've me. seen it a lot of times uh, in bachelor bachelorette party footage. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and, footage. Yeah, and I'm, where are I, you seeing this footage? Uh, uh, old I mean, episode of Real Sex or something? Yeah, like yeah, like you know, I don't know. It's a thing. I don't know, but like, I feel like question of the day, right? Oh, no, okay. How, did you suck a dude's dick at a bridal party? <laughs> and how do you feel about it? At a, specifically at a bridal party. At a, at not a, what is it? Not, what, it's not, what is it not a bridal bachelorette. party? Bachelorette. Bachelorette. Yeah. A bridal party. A bachelorette party. I'm just so... I'm just so... I'm just so... You mother... Fuckers! I'm... I... I... And I'm not even grossed out. I'm not even horrified by it. I'm just shocked. Like, I'm just shocked that that occurs. It's pretty wild, dude. You know what I mean? I'm not here to yuck anyone's yum. I'm so free about all that stuff. I don't care. It's just pretty wild. I'm to not like... scandalized to see it. I'm just surprised. It'd be like if somebody whipped out like a guitar and just started like shredding at the library. I'm just like, <laughs> what? It's wild to me. That's like, hey, I'm here to dance for y'all. Understand that this is my profession. This is what I do. Uh, I use my dick in my work. It, it, it's what I do. So, like, oh shit! What up, stranger? And then you let roll, me suck that dick. Yeah, you like, roll up with like the fucking like the 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 spoon with the fucking pea mush on it, like an airplane coming in. <laughs> is, it, is it just like I just want to try it for a little bit? <laughs> I guess. I've never I seen one like that. I, I want to really, see what it feels. I don't really know. I think we blew Ted's mind a little bit. I, you I, did. Yeah, I don't know. I I it's just I'm just reporting back what I've seen. But that's like a, like it'd be different if it were like. I don't know. Uh, somebody you knew, maybe. Maybe it's a complete. It's porno. it's a stranger, dude. Maybe it's a complete porno fabrication, but I don't feel like the the footage that I've seen is just porn. That's a stranger's dick, and not just any stranger. The only thing you know about the stranger is they I use a, my dick yeah, in my have, work they have a lot. A dick, yeah. You know. But you know you gotta be clean. I hope so. You gotta be clean. But like, and not only that, it's not like it's just for the bride. Like the that, the yeah. footage I've seen, that dick gets passed gets around, around, around at that party. Yeah. That to me, that's the thing that I'm just surprised by. I didn't think Americans had it in them. <sighs> maybe we're revealing. Maybe the beard bros today are revealing just how prudish we are. It's like maybe yeah, maybe I'm just so uptight. Maybe I just had no idea. <laughs> it's like you guys never sucked a dick at a party before. And we're like, no, nah, man, that's not us. We never did it. Are we going to the wrong parties? No. <laughs> Perfectly fine with the parties that I'm at, and I would say that I live, I've lived a, like my twenties were rather debaucherous, mm. and I've never seen anything like that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I've been to plenty of parties where people were getting their dicks up. Plenty, plenty yeah. of parties. It's never been like, here's this guy, the guy who shows up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's never the been that. With the energy of like the ten pizzas rolling up and everybody kind of like rolls into the kitchen. It's not like like, it's not like that. Like. All the ladies sitting in chairs in a circle. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder what's going to happen here. Fuck that. Well, I'm glad we discussed that this episode. Look. Again. Does it get my ass I don't kicked? care if you've done it. I don't have any sort of feeling about you. I'm just surprised that that's occurring out there in the world. I didn't think that was going to be such a common thing. Be careful, you guys. Sucking strange dick. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time on Beard Bros. This time I won't die. Probably. Maybe. I hope not. This is how we're going to. This is how we're going to blow up our whole empire right now. <laughs> Beard bros don't suck 
dick? <laughs> Beer bros That's... don't suck dicks. <laughs> yeah, love me back. <laughs> Just couldn't be happy to get out of that episode. <laughs>